Okay, determining the components of a force. All right. I just think it's very helpful to read this paragraph. Let's read it together. Dimensions are not always given. So say now you've got some, some structure, okay, and there's a force being applied to that structure. Dimensions are not always given in horizontal and vertical directions. Angles need not be measured counterclockwise. So not always, don't always have to measure them counterclockwise from the x-axis. And the origin of coordinates need not be on the line of action of a force. Okay, therefore it is essential that we be able to determine the correct components of a force no matter how the axes are oriented. Okay, so here's some examples. Um, now, this is, these examples are good because it throws us out of being dependent on just saying that fx is always f cos theta or fy is always f sine theta. Don't memorize this, okay? I mean, you need to memorize what is a magnitude, of course, and how to calculate angles. And um, But you need to look at every specific case of how the axes are orientated and the angle that we're talking about. Okay, so let's, let's look at some examples. Let's look at this one. So here we've got this uh, beam or the structure that's at an angle from the ground and we take x in this direction and y in that direction. Okay, so if we know this angle, what is our fx going to be? Well, if you just memorize this 2.3, you're just going to say, oh, f cos beta. And then that's wrong because that is... That is, in this case, that's the y component. So don't memorize this. Remember, this 2.3 was mainly applied to this figure here, right? And it's perfectly fine. But make sure that you're ap applying the correct equations, the correct formulas, okay? So in this specific case, what would fx be? It would be f sine beta because we're looking at that component there and fy and it would be positive because x is positive in that direction and then fy the component of fy right would be f cos beta so as you can see in this case it's the opposite of what we're seeing there okay what's next Okay, so here we have x is going up, y is in that direction. So what what is fx and what is fy? Well, you can see that if I just put, if I just move y there, I've got x and y, positive y, positive x. And if I just draw, extend that line, and we can see that, that that is beta there, okay? So, this force has a negative x component, and it has a negative y component. And to get the x component, it's going to be uh, f, the magnitude of f, cos of that beta angle, but it's negative because it will be in the negative x direction and then also sine beta f sine beta would give me the the value of um, the components in the y direction but it's also negative so it's pointing in that direction okay okay what's next all right so here we've got y pointing up in that direction and x so if i if that is my x, okay, then we've got f, so this force is basically there, that's f, okay, and this over here will be pi minus beta. What's pi? It's simply 
your 180 degrees minus beta and so that angle there is the same as that angle there right so that angle there is pi minus beta so as you can see I have an x component of this force that is in the positive direction and it's going to be F sine of this angle F sine of that angle it's this component there that gives me the x component so it's F sine of pi minus beta and the y component will be negative because it's in the negative direction F cos of that angle which is pi minus beta so do you see guys you, you can't just say F cos theta for fx and f sine theta for fy each case is different and then finally what are what's the x and y components here okay well you take that guy put it over there right put f there and we can see that that angle there is alpha so we're looking for this angle here. So F, magnitude of F, cos of this angle gives me that Fx component. And the magnitude of F, sine of this angle gives me the vertical component. So what is this angle? It is the total angle beta minus that angle gives me this angle here. So that's why we've got F cos of beta minus alpha and then the vertical component would be f sine beta minus alpha